Welcome back everyone. You might be in a position where for some reason you cannot install certain apps on your device. Now this can happen for a ton of reasons but more so it probably means that you're kind of on an outdated version of iOS. Now this tutorial can be used for two different purposes. If you're watching this now or then like the year it came out or even two or three years after this video came out and you're still trying to figure out how to install these things. Just know that there's two different ways to go about doing it, but both methods do require a different device unless you want to be jailbroken, so keep that in mind. If you're on iOS 10 or 9 or whatever, there's a really good way to jailbreak and then download apps that way, which I'll leave linked down below. However, if you want to stay stuck or if you don't have access to any jailbreak methods, what you will need is either an iPhone or a MacBook or Windows or whatever. So if you have an iPhone, you want to make sure it's on one of the newest versions of iOS. Or if you have an iPad, it'll also work You can, or an iPod as long as you're on the specific version of software that's the latest for that app to be downloaded. So if you have iOS 12 or iOS 13 as of right now, then you're set. So if you have an iPhone 6, then you're good. But if you're watching this a year later, obviously things are going to change. But what you want to do is on that new device, okay, so let's say you have an iPhone 7 that's on iOS 13, then you're good. What you want to do is you want to go into that app store and you want to download that specific app that you want to download. So let's just say I want to download, let's say whatever, it doesn't matter, Snapchat. What you can do is download Snapchat from that newer device. And once you have it downloaded, you want to go to your older iPhone, your older iPod or iPad or whatever. And you want to refresh the page and you'll see that you have a little cloud icon right next to the app. What this allows you to do is hit download the app and it'll actually go ahead and circle around and you'll pretty much be able to download an older version of that app that's suitable for that version of software. I find it really weird you're not actually able to download it without having that other device download it so it's completely weird. I made a video of this last year and I just think it's weird. I don't know why Apple does this but it is what it is. We can't really do anything about it. So that's the first way of going about doing it is to download every single app on that other device and then pretty much download the older version on your new device using the same method that you would have before. Now a second way about going about doing this is to use iTunes and you have to use an older versions of iTunes. You have to use, I think you have to use iTunes 12.6.5 or earlier. Those specific versions of iTunes actually have the app store icons, app store accessibility within it. So what you can do is download that version of iTunes. You have to delete the older one, then reinstall the even older one. And then you just want to go into the app store icon once it's all installed. And then from there, you just want to download the specific app that you want to. And you want to make sure you're signed into the specific Apple ID that you're on the other device. So make sure you're on the same Apple ID for all these different devices. And once you have it saved or download or whatever, you can go and go onto your device and try downloading it that way. And like I said before, you should be able to download an older version of that specific app. So that's really pretty much it. Just a couple ways of going about doing this. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.